Aberlauer Abana, a sherry cask matured single malt scotch whiskey. Is this still worth getting in 2022? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Good day, my whiskey people. Mark Coffin here for Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you a very interesting whiskey review, and that is Aberlauer Abana. This is batch number 70. It's one of the more recent batches that we've gotten here in Canada. This one, in fact, from Ontario. And I picked this up last summer. So a little bit late getting this review out, but you know this is just what happens with me and my life, my three kids, and everything that's happened in the last little while. So um, I'm glad I'm getting to this now. Let's get that poured first of all. So this is a space side single malt Scotch whiskey, and it's one that's known for its uh, exceptional adept adept adeptness at um, uh, doing well in sherry casks. So if you go back in uh, the previous generations, and you'll pretty much see almost always Aberlauer being matured in sherry casks. Probably before the kind of uh, focus on single malt whiskey. So let's go back beyond before 20, uh, the year 2000. Probably this was a rarity to be seen at cask strength. And even to get it as a single malt uh, wouldn't have been that easy. And a lot of the whiskey that they make would have gone into uh, the other Chivas Brothers products like... Um, uh, like um, Shiv, well, Shivis, of course, Valentine's, and a few others. So this is batch 70. It's 61.2%. They may be up to 72, 73, 74 by now. One thing a lot of people look for in their Aberlauer, Abana, is an ABV above 60. Now, it's not always the best litmus, uh, litmus test for uh for uh, a quality but it is one of them uh okay so 50 uh, 61 so, sorry 61.2 percent and this is matured in all oloroso casks matured in spanish oloroso sherry butts and it says it here it's non-chill filtered but no mention of color but when you look at batch to batch there is a color variance yeah, no mention about the color here at all. Okay, they've done a little bit of an upgrade to the packaging. So that is batch 70. And then I've got batch 62, which was available here in Manitoba. And uh, so just a little bit different. The bottle shape is the same. Um, uh, a little bit of the accoutrements are just slightly different here. Maybe we'll try that at the end of the video. Okay. And that one is 59.9, I believe. 59, yes. Now, just a quick answer to the question. So I bought that bottle. I tried it with my friend Fred. Hey, Fred. We both loved it. So I went back the next day. And what did I do? What did I do? Woo! <laughs> I guess that answers the question, doesn't it? And it look, it's got this weird uh, a wax thing going on. So, uh, by the way, for this one, I paid $105. So, Canadian. So, that's like, what? Like $66, $68 US currency. Pretty good. Pretty good price. Um, where was this? This was here. Okay, so let's check the color out, first of all, of this Batch 70 Aberlauer Abana. What do we see for color here? Definitely something copper-ish. It's a dark hue. It's not the darkest that you see for sherry casks, but don't let the color influence your purchase too much. Um, so that's fully matured in sherry butts for probably six or seven years. And this is the color you get, a deep, deep coppery hue. 
yeah, it looks very similar here. Not quite as pink, but you get the idea. Okay. Um, so on the video here, we will check out the nose, the palette, and the finish. Oh, we'll, we'll check out the legs too. I almost forgot. Then we'll check out uh, the nose, the palette, and the finish neat and with water. And then give it a whiskey whistle whiskey score. So stay tuned for that, okay? And before that, why not subscribe to Whiskey Whistle? Please subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified of future Whiskey Whistles. Join the exclusive group of viewers who are actually subscribers to the channel. You'll get notified in your inbox of future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're really enjoying Whiskey Whistle, then jump in and support the channel through Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Whiskey Whistle. You'll get your name in the credits at the end of each video like this one. So check out those credits. You also get advanced viewership of future whiskey whistles. Last but not least, you'll get yourself your whiskey whistle glass Ooh, with enough support on the uh, the Patri uh, Patreon site. The legs, yes, let's check those legs out. And here we are. Okay, very syrupy. Oh, yes. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Very slow first legs, extremely slow second legs that are halfway down now. So I'm guessing we'll have a nice, rich, thick mouth feel. Thick. Greatly because of the, ca the cast content here from those Spanish Oloroso Sherry butts. Okay, the nose here for Aberlauer Abuna. Batch 70. Whew. Super potent. It's very zingy. It's very dark fruity. Very spicy. Very walnutty here. Lots of spices. Dark spices. Cinnamon. Um, some ginger. Some nutmeg. Now smelling this. This is totally geared for the, the bourbon whiskey lovers that want to dabble in single malt scotch whiskey. This has the same intensity as a cask strength, barrel strength bourbon. I can tell it's going to be zingy. It's going to be fruity, uh, custard-like also. Winter pudding, Christmas pudding. Beautiful. Okay, the palate with water. Sorry, no, not water. The palate, neat. Mm. If there is one bourbon lover's single malt, it's this. Super spicy, super intense, very dry fruity. The finish is insane, very long. Lots of oak tannins. Lots of the previous content, the sherry coming through here. Dried fruit dried raisins, a little bit of apricot, a little bit of prune, and then throw in some stewed apples as well. Cinnamon, nutmeg, straight up vanilla bean added in there. Whoa, boy. Let's add some water and I'm going to add a little bit of space side source spring water. Oh, it's totally new. I get this open. It's just like a little whiskey bottle. Come on. There we go. I'll have to do a little review of these because I think it's it's interesting, it's worthwhile, and it's not just a gimmick. Okay. Here we go. A little more. There we go. Okay, and while that is doing its thing, I'm going to pour a little tiny taste of uh, batch 62. And this was from Manitoba. Okay. So batch 62. It's nuttier. I think it's older. It's not quite as zingy. 
It's a little bit more old school Scotch whiskey here with 62. And it's reminiscent of my favorite 59, which was fabulous. Not quite as powerful as 62, but it's got maybe some more balance. But the thing is, is that Aberlauer Abena is not about balance. It is intentionally an unbalanced, sherry heavy, um, spice heavy type of a single malt. That was 62. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. Back into 70 with water added. What do we have here on the nose? Oh, it's just totally become an elegant. Yeah, you get more age coming through. You get a little bit of wax. We've got some leather coming through. We've got a lot more complexity and it's kind of showing its true age. I think we've got some nice old malts included in this batch and it reminds me of a kind of a kind of whiskey that you'd love to, to serve for your client. Let's say it's the middle of the day You've got a nice office. Your, your client client comes and, and something great happens. Business success or legal success. And so you just close all those horizontal blinds. And uh, you open your faux bookshelf to show this just gorgeous whiskey bar. And you pour your client this whiskey. And you pour it and, and they, they sip it. And they're going to sit there for like a minute. Just in awe, in like stupor, in a malty stupor of this, this interesting whiskey. It's got so much going for it. With water as well, the spice is tempered. Those interesting sherry notes are coming through and a little bit less a little bit less like American bourbon. A little bit more like an old sherried malt. Still spicy, but just less so. Uh, we've got some more leather coming through now, which is nice. And again, that tells me that there's probably some older malts in there. Mm, everything is just kind of... Ah, this is just so good. And I have to say, I really recommend adding some water to the Aberlauer Abana. I feel like you're being able to unravel the DNA of, uh, of this malt and get a little bit more access to some of the older um, and more, uh, what can I say, the, the, the underlying casks and the underlying malts of this whiskey. And anybody who says that the older batches are, are the best and the current batch batches aren't any good... Well, I mean, that's true for a lot of malts, but let's compare this malt to today and you're paying $100 Canadian for cask strength, single malt whiskey from a great distillery. Um, you're paying 66, uh, 66 American, $70 American around about there. You're paying about uh, whatever, 80, 90 euros, uh, 80, no, no, no. 55 whatever I can't I don't know the conversion rate you're paying about 50 uh, 50 pounds UK and uh, I think it's well worth it and you'll be happy to have this in your in your closet in your whiskey shelf and if you see this in the shop um, and if if you know if you can try it first but otherwise I would recommend just grab yourself a couple of them because I think they're really going to do well for you uh, and your guests and your friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Final taste here. With water, just so much more enjoyable, less astringent. You get more access to the dark fruits. It also comes off as older with walnut and leather flavors. The finish is just as equally f uh, fruity. Um, equally spicy and zingy not quite the uh, the bourbon lovers malt here with water added but still very good let's get on to the whiskey whistle whiskey score for Abelauer Abana what is that going to be folks 
it's going to be 90 out of 100. You heard it, 90 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Abola or Abana. Batch 70 needs a malt hug. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm going to blow it a little whiskey kiss. There we go. Um, again, all in all, a great whiskey, 90 points uh, for $100 here in, in Manitoba, in Canada. That's fantastic, and I think it's well worth it. And I've already said my piece, but just go and grab yourself one of these, okay? My name is Mark Kaufman. You're watching Whiskey Whistle. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Patreon. Take care, folks. Goodbye now. Yeah.